Regex is going to sell or regular expressions isn't just for programmers. It's for anybody who's sick of messy text data. You know what's worse than unformatted data? Having to clean it up manually. And that's where Regex comes in. And no, you don't need to be some Silicon Valley engineer to use it. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use regex functions inside Excel to just transform your garbage data into clean, usable gold. Think of it like a fine to replace on steroids. Let's get into it. So let's revisit what is a regex function. So, so regex is kind of short for regular expression. You can see here this explanation of it. It just makes it easier with special characters or special pattern of characters to search, extract, and change, manipulate text. So there's three regex functions that are available in M365 Excel. And one of them is the regex extract, the other one is replace, and one, the last one is test. Let's do the regex extract first. I find that one probably the most useful one. Let's say, for example, we have this two column data. It's response data from a survey. You got the full name, response. And we want to pull out something like the hashtags. So I'm going to use regex extract, double click that. And what text is it? It's this text. And what kind of pattern do I want to use? Well, I have to put that in double quotes. And I'm going to take out that pattern of the hash and do the slash and W plus. So this means any characters after that hash, I want to pull that out. And after that argument, I can, these are other arguments that you can use. Let's just find all the matches. You can do the first match, all matches, or capture the groups. Let's capture all the match because there's going to be more than one. So I'll select that, close parentheses, press enter, and it pulls out that hashtag there. Double click to autofill. And with the ones that have more than one hashtag, it did a flash fill to the right. So you can see that there's more there. And another example could be the URL. So let's say we want to pull out the URL there. I'm going to remove that, delete, and type in instead of hash, HTTPS. So, cause I want to have both HTTP and HTTPS. So I'm type the S first and then a question mark. So what the question mark does is it makes the preceding character optional. So it could be either HTTPS or HTTP. So that'd be the format you'll find in web addresses. And then after the question mark is the colon slash slash. And now I'm to a slash, a backslash, capital S plus. What the capital S signifies is any non white space character. The plus sign means any, any amount of characters. Close quotes, close parentheses, press enter. We've got a URL here. Double click to fill it out here, and we've got our URLs. Now, the text patterns are not easy to remember, so it's probably better to search on the web to find out what are the regex expressions I can use, or even ask Gen AI to do it. And that's probably the best part is having Gen AI to do it. So for example, let's say that I had, I want to get my email addresses out here. I'm not going to remember all that. So I asked ChatGPT to figure out for me and ChatGPT gave me something like this. I'm going to go in here. Let's remove that. Control V to paste it in here. Press enter. And it found me the email address here. Double click to fill that out and have copied all the email addresses. So that's kind of the nice thing about using Gen AI to do it. I'm just going to go out and web find it because it's hard to remember all of these different text patterns. So that was reg extract, regex extract. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to do some more complex things, it's probably better to go out and ask Gen AI to help you create these expressions and then just use them in your file. So for example, let's say I wanted to anonymize this user. I don't want to have user one here. I want to have some stars, but keep the whole sentence here. And what I can do is I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. So what we're going to do here is we'll take this out. And instead of regex extract, regex replace. Press tab or just select it here. And the pattern that I'm going to use, I'm just going to paste it in here. Press enter. And you can see that the user has been anonymized. Double click to fill that down. The first part of the email address, we just have those five stars. And you can see regex replace is actually kind of useful. But the syntax does get a little bit more complicated. So I just go out and find the exact string syntax and just bring it into Excel. And for completion, let's cover the last one, which is regex text. Regex test, basically, it's just testing if there is a pattern there, right? So let's say, for example, I want to do regex text, this here, and are there any numbers here? And that would just be quote, bracket, 
zero dash nine close bracket close quote parentheses and it's going to give you either true or false whoops and this one gave me a value because i did not do a square bracket i did a curly bracket let's do square bracket press enter and now we have true double click to fill that down that's all true because there's numbers here everywhere. So the regex text, I don't know if it's as useful, but it's another option there if you wanted to test something. And that's how you use regex functions in Excel. Clean, fast, and ridiculously useful once you get the hang of it. If you want more no BS tutorials like this, subscribe, turn on the notification, and drop a comment with your biggest spreadsheet headache. Maybe we'll solve it in the next video.